That's right. The 3229 has finally had LibreLack ported to it. So what could this potentially mean? Well, if you have one lying somewhere in a drawer, you can now get it out and actually use it for the first time ever. If you've ever used the 329 before for Android, you'll know they are appalling. They are truly one of the worst TV boxes that have ever came out of China. Now that's purely because the processor, the 3229, is a pile of dog crap. That's as better description as I can come up with for that processor. But I've always said for many, many years, but although it struggles to run Android, I reckon it would have been a perfect candidate for running LibreLec or back then OpenLec. And now we have it. We finally have a developer that has committed and brought us LibreLec for the Rockchip 3229. This has brought a T to my eye, if I'm honest with you, because we've waited for this for such a long time. So I'm not going to beat around the bush and go on about it. Let's get this installed onto your Rockchip 3229 TV box. It's exactly the same process as every other system that dual boots on these types of TV boxes. First off, let's go to the download page and let's get the correct file for your box. So here we are on GitHub and we've got a bunch of different files that we can download. Now we see lots of different names of TV boxes, so find the one that you think is appropriate to the TV box you have. This also support, supports the newer 3228A, so yeah, if you've got one of those, it should support it. However, don't expect it to support every single TV box. This is very early days in development, so the chances are you might not be able to get one that works perfectly with your box. but. Here I have the V88 4K. This has been a box that came out in 2015. And yes, here is the correct file for it. So I'm going to choose that one. Obviously, these are named differently. So the device tree blobs are really important when it comes to getting these things working on these boxes will be all different for each of the file types. Now, one thing I want to note is that when we're looking through all the different files, you'll notice that some say .tar and these are update files, you don't need those ones. What you need is the .image.gz file. That is the correct one. Don't download the tar file unless, of course, you're updating. And I'll briefly cover that towards the end of the video. But at the moment, all you need is to choose the right file for your box. So just choose the box that you think is going to work with it. If you don't see your box named in the list, just try one. It might work. I know the V88 shared its hardware with the Mars 2, for example, it was ever so slightly different, and many other different 329 boxes. So yeah, it might just work for you, so give it a go and find out. So let's start off, let's download this V88 4K.image.gz file and go from there. Okay, so this file is a .gz file, so that's just basically, it's a zip file, it's compressed, so we need to unzip it. Now you can use any old tool if you want to, I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip it and if you want to use WinRAR you can just unzip it, normally it's just right and click, go to the unzip on the actual menu just here, unzip it and then you should be left with a .image file. Next thing we need to do, we need to grab an SD card and we need to burn it or write it whichever way you want to call it, onto that SD card. So I'm going to be using the regular old tool of Win32 Disk Imager. You can, of course, use Etcher or some other tool. They all basically do the same thing. So, yeah, plug in your SD card, open up the program that you've chosen, select the right file. So mine's the v88.image file and then select write, allow it to write to the SD card 
and that's that part of the process completely done you can take your sd card out now now we can go over to the tv now because this is not set up like other devices like coralec other systems sorry should i say like coralec um, where you have to change the device tree prop around we're not there i don't think with this development so yeah we've just got this image file written onto the sd card so we can go straight over to the tv now grab your tv box insert into insert the sd card and yeah let's get on with that so insert your sd card into your tv box like shown i'll insert into my v88 and as far as i'm aware this should just boot it should just boot if it was going to work however you might find you have to insert something thin into the av into the av port or some other location on your tv box normally you should have a reset button somewhere and basically that's just going to tell the hardware to look to the external sd cards that are on inserted in the box to boot from it if there's an operating system there, there of course and normally they are found in the av port possibly in another port somewhere normally on these boxes these types of boxes it is in the av port and that's been the tradition since the very first tv boxes were released way back in 2010 so yeah do that insert your sd card and hopefully on screen you will see the libre logo as we can see right now so it's been an absolute success my V88 has successfully booted LibreLec. As well as that, the Wi-Fi is working as well, which is great to see. So the Wi-Fi chip in here is fully supported. And yeah, let's just go through the setup procedure and start installing a few things and check it out. Let's see how well it runs. Those of you who have successfully booted LibreLec from your SD card might be wondering, well, how do I upgrade or update LibreLec in the future as and when new releases come out? Well, as I mentioned at the start of the video with tar files, these are the files that will update the underlying operating system and of course Kodi when a new version is released. So to update that, we basically need to Samba into the box. So connect your box up to Wi-Fi, get a laptop, a PC ready, and basically we need to take the IP address from your TV box or LibreLec, which can be easily accessed just in the Wi-Fi settings. You'll see your IP address listed. Take a note of that IP address, go over to your PC, bring up any old folder, create a new folder if you want to, and in the address bar, at the top just enter the ip address into there as long as your network is connected and you've got a healthy network that's working properly and there's no issues with your route or anything like that as long as you've put in two forward slashes backslashes should i say as long as you've entered that two backslashes then your ip address click enter and then it should bring up a bunch of folders go down to the list of the folders that are presented to you find the one that says update click into there and simply drag and drop that tar file that we can download from the github page from where all the LibreLec for the 3229 is stored drag that new update tar file into the update box and then let it transfer and restart your tv box and that is it that's all you got to do